Are you ready for battle? This is AppleNaps.com checking out Siegecraft TD, which is a pseudo sequel, and that it's a tower defense variation on the original Siegecraft. So let's dive into a level. We'll go with hard difficulty. Pick our different towers. Only unlocked this many so far, but this is level five in the game, rather than you know starting off from level one tutorial stuff. So we'll get you right into it. There's going to be 30 levels total, and Siegecraft, the original, is a strategy game set in a medieval style but with a little uh, fantasy infusion, and that's how you would describe Siegecraft Tower Defense. It's an extension of that world, but put into uh, tower defense form. So you simply drag and drop your towers, like so, and we can see the path that they're going to come in. It's shown on the map by the little green arrows. So they're coming in like this, and we want to defend them the best way we can, okay. And as you can see, this is uh, open map tower defense rather than fixed path. So you're going to create the maze that the lizard enemies are going to go with the towers that you place. So you can place little walls to kind of usher them to certain pathways. And since they're coming in as two different distinct uh, waves, we're going to try to get them together so our attacks can be more focused. Like so. And as you play, there's going to be 15 different towers to use at your disposal and you're gonna face 18 different type of lizard units. So there's the main single player campaign which offers hours of content and then there's also gonna be endless modes along the way that you can unlock. Okay so we're gonna jump ahead a bit now we're on to wave 9 and then you also have the fast forward button in the top left so you can have up to three times fast forward if your defense is really solid. And then you also can pinch in, you know, and change the camera angle like this and see it up close and personal of your defense and this deluxe 3D world that they've created. But you kind of value what you've done. You get to see the little entry ports. And then of course you can zoom back up to the usual way. It's just nice how there's a completely fluid 360 degree camera to jump and dive into all the different things going on. Let's upgrade. So, that is nice, that lava tower. Look at that pour that down. <laughs> Let's upgrade our slowdown tower. And we should build this out to make them have to keep going back through. And that is wave nine. You know, these uh, dinosaur looking things, they're more like bosses. Hmm. Here we got that again. Let's place it again. Okay. Let's get through this a bit quicker. Boom, boom, boom. Your mother was an absolute. Let's uh, upgrade our catapult. Upgrade this slow down tower. So it's going a bit too quick. You can always pause, and from the pause screen, you can slowly but surely upgrade your stuff. Looks like we're getting a bit overwhelmed right here. And somehow made it through that. <laughs> upgrade, upgrade. So let's put in another slowdown tower. Just in case. 
Oh good, another extra. So this is the classic tower defense style as you can see. But it's definitely overwhelming. Or at least there's a whole bunch of action involved. And this is just level 5 in the game. Gangnam Style. Preparing as best as we can. Sell towers too, like that. If you want to build your path a little bit better. So now they have to come back more on all these guys. Airborne enemies are getting close. So let's build another arrow tower, which are the only ones of our current arsenal that can take on those flying enemies. Speed it back up. Those slowdown towers are really helping out a lot. So each tower only has three levels of upgrades. Let you manage things a bit easier. We do have 158 coins. So let's do a little more upgrading. Now this is uh, kind of a cross between what Kingdom Rush Frontiers does of making fixed paths, super strategy, super involved, and then more of a Field Runners 2 where you're creating your own pathways. And then of course infused with the Siegecraft style and the deluxe 3D engine. There's a whole lot going on. And there's an extra component that we'll show you as soon as uh, this map is completed. That no uh, tower defense game has had to date. And that's some multiplayer. So let's make it through here. I think we can fast forward again. so many points, might as well use them. Don't want to miss any buddy going through. So I'll put him in another backup. Like so.
And this is map five of Siegecraft TD. Completed that. And we get to see that we're leveling up. Performance. And the crossbow tower. You can see your friend's scores on this level. You also have the video replay. So I actually made it through. Only had four sheep left over, so not the best attempt, but that was on hard difficulty. Now you can see, here's the full map. And there's multiple worlds as you're going. <coughs> ah, fuck. As promised, now let's go back out and we'll check out the multiplayer. So you see right here, these are other players' turns. We'll uh, just show you how this dives in, you know, rather than playing it, just to give you a quick overview. So as you see, you get in this full-on map that your goal is to conquer the map and then take out the opponent's castle. So we got blue and red teams. Your red team obviously wants to make it all the way over to the blue side and vice versa. And on each individual turn, any square that's yours, like see how it's red, if you had uh, the one right next to it, you'd have to play two waves of zoomed-in tower defense for those waves to defend those regions. And then you also have extra turns, which lets you attack other regions or build up a gold mine or barracks or train your knights to help attack. So you got it's kind of a two-phase thing, and it's turn-based, so we're waiting on this other player's turn in the moment. But that's uh, essentially multiplayer. And that is all that Siegecraft TD has to offer. We hope you enjoyed our Apple and Apps in Action video, and we'll talk to you next time.